let's make a, a crochet in the round. So this is easy. And we are going to make not very many, maybe 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the way you you make a cowl if you want to make it all in one piece and knit from around up or this is the way you start a hat two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20. Okay, so now we're going to make sure that all my stitches are looking up. And I put it under over a flat surface and I am going to make it go around. All the stitches are looking up like so. And now I'm going to take the first one the first chain that I made and I am going to pass slip stitch yes and pass that is called a slip stitch that will be my first one I chain one and make sure that all of them are looking up and then of course I'm going to go around now let's make believe that I really want a very thick piece and I am going to add one flush against the chain so like that I have it very very thick and I don't have to struggle with having a smaller hook so I'm going to put it flush against my chain so I will go there and this white one is going to go underneath and now I am not knitting with it. No, I'm you're, not you're wrapping around it. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's going flush against my chain. So, But we're going to show you how to do it. Now this is, for example, if you want to make a hat that stays in place that's a little bit like stiff and sometimes the instructions tell you to use a smaller hook but mean it's so difficult oh yeah it's tied to try yes. to go through the chains with something yes and so this is the reason why you're using something under it mm -hmm. so it makes it thicker without using a smaller hook and it gets you know nice and stiff and in its place so we're going to go around I'm not going to uh, make one I'm just going to go around I'm not going to make like rows I mean like chaining one up I'm just going to work around I want to make sure that all my stitches are in place so it doesn't it doesn't bend so it's very easy to pick it up you do not want to pick up the white you want it flush against the against the chain so we're going to go around and this is the beginning of my work I need to make sure that all my stitches are there we go it is all my stitches are toward the same side the white one goes still flush toward my work so that's the last one make sure all the stitches are toward the same side and the white one is still traveling with me 
underneath. So it's there and I keep going around and the white one is still flush against my work. It's right there and I'm picking it up together with everything else if I want to do the, the back stitch because I can do the back stitch like I'm doing now and it gives you an edge like that or I can pick up the whole thing which makes it thicker and that's the purpose of it anyway so let's do that pick up the whole chain together with the white and like that I don't have to suffer so much because I don't have to the white one is giving the thickness that I want now of course let's know also that instead of having this white one flush against your work to make it thicker you can use wire and you can use wire in order to make your work bend bendable to, yes flexible well this is flexible this is very flexible but if you want it to have a, sh a shape and keep it that way mm -hmm. it will be wire will help very much because you can make figures with it yeah that's why I think cl uh, pipe cleaners would be a good pipe idea pipe cleaners are a very good idea because pure wire can be a little like it can cling to the fibers maybe I don't uh, know. Not the one that you use normally, like for jewelry. For jewelry, because uh -huh. it's polished. Yeah. But of course, you want to have a thick one because you want to be able to bend it if that is the look that you want. On um, in this case, you don't want to have that look because you want it just thicker, like for a hat. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it looks. It is very, very thick. And you cannot see the white because it's hidden in there. And of course you're going to use a yarn that is the same color. You can even use the same type of yarn and just use it flush against your work. I'm using the white so only because like that you can distinguish one from another one. So that's the one that's traveling with me underneath flush against my work and this makes it a very thick work and this is how you knit in the round I think this is a really good stitch for something like a basket like um, round basket yes or, or a hat or a hat or yeah different things yeah 